first class we calculate average value and RMS value of various waveform. Problem number one, the full rectified sine wave has the delay angle of 45 degrees. Calculate E average ERMS in terms of EM. This is a waveform, this is a maximum voltage. This is 0, this is 45 degrees, this is pi, this is pi plus 45, this is 2 pi. The instantaneous voltage E is equal to 0 up to 45 degrees. The instantaneous voltage E is equal to EM into sine theta from 45 degrees to 180 degrees. I can find area under half a cycle. Integral pi by 4 to pi EM into sin theta into d theta. Integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. That is equal to EM into minus cos theta limits pi by 4 to pi. I substituted the limits. I find area is equal to 1.707 EM. I can find E average. E R is equal to area by period. 1.707 EM by pi. That is equal to 0.543 EM. Next, I can find the mean square value. Mean square value is nothing but EM square into sin square theta. The period is pi by 4 to pi. Integral pi by 4 to pi EM square into sin square theta into d theta. Sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. Therefore, mean square value is equal to EM square by 2 into theta minus sin 2 theta by 2 limits pi by 4 to pi. I got mean square value is equal to 1.428 into EM square. Root mean square value is equal to mean square value divided by period. Root of mean square value divided by period. So mean square value is 1.428 root of 1.428 EM square divided by pi. That is equal to root of 0.454 EM square. That is equal to 0.674 EM. Therefore, full rectify the sine wave has the delay angle of 45 degrees. Its average value is 0.543 EM and its RMS value is 0.674 EM. Problem 2. Find the average and the RMS value of waveform shown in figure. This is a triangular waveform. Here B is equal to T, H is equal to 25, area under the curve is equal to half BH. That is equal to 1 by 2 into t into 25. That is equal to 12.5 t. V average is equal to area by period. Period is t. Therefore, 12.5 into t divided by t. That is equal to 12.5 volts. Average voltage is equal to 12.5. Area under the squared curve is equal to area under the parabola. That is equal to 1 by 3 v square into t. V is given 25. That is equal to 1 by 3 into 25 square into t. I can find VRMS. VRMS is equal to root of area under the squared curve divided by period. Period is T. That is equal to root of 1 by 3 into 25 square into T divided by T. T T get cancel. VRMS is equal to 14.43 volts. Problem number 3. Find the average and the effective value of the waveform shown in figure. This is 5 amps. The period of one complete cycle is equal to 0.03. Area of one complete cycle is equal to area of triangle plus area of rectangle. Area of triangle is equal to half BH. Area of rectangle is A into B. Therefore, area of one complete cycle is equal to 1 by 2 into 0.01 into 5 plus 0.01 into 5. That is equal to 0.075. I can find the I average. I average is equal to area of one complete cycle divided by period. The period is 0.03. That is equal to 0.075 divided by 0.03. That is equal to 2.5 amps. Next, I have to find the IRMS. Area under the squared curve is equal to 1 by 3 into I square into T plus I square into T. That is equal to 1 by 3 into 25 into 0.01 plus 25 into 0.01. That is equal to 0.333. So, I can find IRMS. IRMS is equal to root of area under the squared curve divided by period t a root of 0.333 divided by 0.03 that is equal to 3.33 amps ir is equal to 2.5 amps irms is equal to 3.33 amps problem number 4 a full rectified sine wave is clipped as shown in figure find the average and effective value in terms of em this is em this is em by root 2 we have to find the area under half cycle this is pi by 4, 
this is 3 pi by 4 minus pi by 4 this is pi by 4 this is pi by 2 this is pi by 4 45 plus 90 plus 45 that is equal to 180 that is equal to pi area under half a cycle is equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 em into sin theta into d theta this area plus this area em by root 2 into 3 pi by 4 minus pi by 4 plus integral 0 to pi by 4 into em into sin theta into d theta so this area this area is this this area is this this area is this so area under half cycle is equal to 1.696 em i know the period period is pi therefore e average is equal to 1.696 divided by pi into em that is equal to 0.54 em average value is 0.54 em next i have to find the rms voltage area under the squared curve is equal to 1 by 3 into em by root to the whole square into pi by 4 plus this area em by 2 the whole square into pi by 2 this area plus 1 by 3 this area 1 by 3 into em by root to the whole square into pi by 4 I simplify the equation I got area under the squared curve is equal to 1.047 into em square I can easily find ERMS ERMS is equal to root of area under the squared curve divided by period period is pi Therefore, ERMS is equal to root of 1.047 into EM square divided by pi. That is equal to 0.577 EM. So, ERMS is equal to 0.577 EM. Problem number 5. Find the average value and the RMS value of the trapezoidal waveform as shown in figure. This waveform is a symmetrical waveform. This is 10 amps. The total is seconds half cycle is 0.5 t oc is equal to 0.125 t cd is equal to 0.25 t d is equal to 0.125 t therefore 0.125 t plus 0.25 t plus 0.125 t is equal to 0.5 t as the wave is symmetrical the average value is found over one half cycle the half cycle consists of two triangles and one rectangle here A1 is equal to A3 area under one half cycle is equal to area of triangle OAC plus rectangle ABDC plus triangle BED that is equal to area of triangles of DH rectangle is A into B half into 0.25 into T into 10 plus 0.25 into T into 10 plus 1 by 2 into 0.125 into t therefore area is equal to 3.75 t I can find the I average I average is equal to area by period therefore I average is equal to 3.75 t divided by 0.5 t that is equal to 7.5 amps next area under the squared curve area under the squared curve is equal to area under the parabola that is equal to 1 by 3 into I square into t here I is equal to 10 a1 is equal to 1 by 3 into 10 square into 0.125 into t that is equal to 4.167 t a2 is equal to 10 square into 0.25 t that is equal to 25 t a3 is equal to 1 by 3 into 10 square into 0.125 into t that is equal to 4.167 t a1 plus a2 plus a3 is equal to 33.33 t i know area under the squared curve i can find the irms IRMS equal to root of area under the squared curve divided by period. Period is 0.5 t. IRMS equal to root of 33.33 .33 into t divided by 0.5 t. That is equal to 8.165 amps. So uh, IRMS is equal to 7.5 amps. IRMS equal to 8.165 amps. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.